Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Bit of a different one today. Um, I went down to the Straits again quickly, just uh, for a couple of hours. Because I've not been for a couple of weeks because of the weather. It's been far too windy and um, temperamental, plus working as well. So it's bank holiday weekend. I thought I'd come down a couple of hours just to have a little go for the bass. Um, but pretty soon into the session, as you can see in a minute, um, I started seeing mackerel boils which I've not seen come up the straights in a couple of years, actually. Uh, so that was good to see. And you can see from my excitement in a minute, um, when I started seeing it happen, I had to rush over there. Oh, look at them bubbles over there. See them? It's either bass or mackerel hitting bait over there now. Did you see the splashing? It's either bass or mackerel hitting bait over there now. Did you see the splashing? I've not seen this in a couple of years. So you can see here all the mackerel feeding, um, possibly bass in there as well, but <clears throat> usually mackerel is chasing the white bait or sprats just by the shore here. So I had to get into casting range um, with the Savage Gear Seeker and quite quickly I was in. I'm recording. Here he comes. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. On the Savage Gear Seacut. Seen the mackerel boil, cast straight to it. And that's the first mackerel in a couple of years. Now, if you lose him, Rusty, who beats? Rusty, who beats? Rusty, who beats? So I've just prepped the fish, um, gutted and filleted it. Key to that is a very um, sharp knife. It makes the job so much easier. Um, and you get a much better presentation as well, you can see from the fillets. I didn't debone the mackerel, because um, when you just pan fry them, the bottom of the rib cage just comes off straight. You can part, part the flesh away with your fork, so it's not an issue. So I'm just going to score the fillets on the skin side. Very small lacerations. Just so you can reveal the flesh underneath. What this does is stops the mackerel um, curling up in the pan with the heat. And also when you're basting the fish in the butter after, it seeps into those um, cuts so you get more flavour in the fillet. So I've got oil in the pan, not much. It's heating up on max heat. Uh, notice that I patted the fish dry with the um, kitchen roll. Make sure your fillets are dry either side. And now I'm just um, seasoning the fillets with um, flake salt. Use rock salt or flake salt. Much better um, quality than just table salt, if you can help it. So I'm putting the fillet in now. I'm just testing it. You want that sizzle on contact, but it didn't. So it's quite not hot enough yet. So let it here for a couple more seconds. And there it's red. Now it's sizzling. Laying the mackerel um away from you so you don't get spat on by the oil 
And then we're not going to move the fillets, just keep them in the pan exactly where they are, just to crisp up slightly. If you start moving them, they won't crisp. So yeah, they won't stick, just let them cook. And the key is to cook the fish um, skin down for about 90% of the cooking. And then you just want to finish it up flesh side down, just so you don't overcook the fish and the um, flesh isn't too firm. So we're just going to let them sit in there. Literally, this takes about two and a half, three minutes. And you can see the edge of the fillet starting to go white. So just as that starts creeping up towards the middle, um, it's ready to flip then. And then you just finish off the fish another minute and the flesh side down. And then you put your butter in and just tablespoon it over and just keep basting it. And when you have fish as fresh as this, an hour out the sea, um, the taste is amazing. You don't have to do anything to it. Just simply cook it like I'm doing here. Um, or you could grill it. But yeah, you could probably serve this with a nice thick piece of sourdough or maybe a little side salad. Um, but I'm just showing you here how I cook the fillets um, so simply. And this is probably all done in under four or five minutes as well as filleting and gutting the fish. So it's lunch very quickly um, and to the highest quality as well organic mackerel fresh out the sea just can't beat it well i hope you enjoyed that video guys bit of a different one my first ever catch and cook video um i don't usually keep my fish if you've been watching my videos over the last couple of years um i like to return them uh, especially trout and the bass but when i catch a mackerel like this just one of them i like to take it just to um treat myself to just going to show you here guys how easy it is to part the flesh away it's perfectly cooked still really moist and absolutely lovely um please like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and hopefully i'll bring some more like this all right cheers bye